Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing Stellar's sea cows. If you would like to see more extinct animals discussed on this channel, consider supporting our Patreon, where you can contribute monthly donations to back more content like this. Stellar's sea cows are extinct. They were whale-sized animals that looked like giant dugongs or manatees. Like dugongs, they had a fluked tail. But unlike dugongs, Stellar's sea cows reached more than 25 feet in length. While an individual Stellar's sea cow was never weighed, it's estimated that they may have reached at least six tons in weight, and potentially double that at full size. Stellar's sea cows were scientifically discovered in 1741, and became extinct a mere 27 years later. In fact, they were stumbled upon by accident. Stellar, the scientist after which these animals are named, was shipwrecked along with the rest of his crew on a treeless island now known as Bering Island, in the Bering Sea. Here, many of the crew succumbed to bad weather and illness. However, Stellar survived and was the first scientist, and in fact the only scientist, to document living Stellar's sea cows. Fossil findings since their extinction suggest Stellar's sea cows likely lived in this area of the northern Pacific, potentially reaching down to the shores of California and Japan in prehistoric times. Stellar's sea cows tended to stay towards the mouths of streams and rivers along continental and island coasts. It's been suggested that they stayed near these freshwater sources because, like today's Cyrenians, Stellar's sea cows were unable to drink salt water. Stellar described these animals as large, with half of their bodies sticking out of the water and using their flippers like legs to walk along the seafloor. Stellar's sea cows also had mobility of their heads. It's believed this likely helped these hulking animals eat more efficiently by being able to move their heads to reach food without needing to move their large bodies. Stellar described these sea cows as eating mostly brown and red kelp, with very little seagrass making up their diets. But later research suggests this may not have been an optimal diet for them, and that individuals living in more favorable areas may have even grown to larger sizes. Of course, it's good to remember this is a hypothesis. Like their living relatives, stellar sea cows had no visible outer ears. Adults also lacked teeth, which likely made it difficult for them to chew their meals. It's believed this may have been a contributing factor to them appearing so rotund they were full of gas. It's hypothesized they used their flippers to dislodge plant material to eat. They had small eyes, large bristles that covered their snouts, and thick, bark-like skin that likely helped protect them against obstacles in the shallow waters they inhabited. Like all aquatic mammals, they required air to breathe. While there are no documented observations of predator attacks on stellar sea cows, it's believed they may have been hunted by orcas and sharks. Though it should be said these predators amounted to nothing in comparison to the human-caused casualties of these majestic beasts. There's very little information on how Stellar's sea cows reproduced, though Stellar described them as monogamous, with births happening any time of the year, but most frequently in early autumn. They lived in groups, with young often being kept towards the center of the crowd. Females only gave birth to one baby at a time, after what Stellar believed to be a gestation period of over a year. It's not known how long these animals lived, though their closest living relatives survive upwards of 70 years in the wild. Thank you to our patrons, Spike Spiegel 93 Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. For more facts on Stellar Sea Cows, check out the links in the description. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today, and thanks for watching Animal Fact Files.